Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Tom Miners in the News 14 Weather Center. Havelock and New Bern, they're also going to be dealing with those showers for just a little while longer as well. The lighter showers are moving through Durham into Raleigh, and those are going to be clearing out in just a few minutes, and we are going to be seeing some sunny skies later this afternoon. The normal for the average high is 84.2, so that's passing it by 6.3 degrees. So that's record-breaking heat for this month, but we won't see any out there today. So, if you have weekend plans, you might want to watch out. Ooh, well, what about tomorrow? Because I'm planning on doing the senior bell tower climb when I, when I get all the way up there. It's going to be uh, iffy. I mean, I would say that for tomorrow, at least, we will have those showers clear out. You should be good by the evening. It's going to be nice and sunny, actually, by later in the afternoon. So I say you're good for a go. Okay, and then senior bar golf will, will definitely be clear for tomorrow Definitely night. clear. All right, definitely. thanks so much, Tom. The sun has finally come out, but this morning, students braved chilly temperatures near 46 degrees as they started to wait for President Obama to come speak tomorrow at UNC Chapel Hill. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Tom Miners here in the News 14 Weather Center. And if we take a look inside the temperatures right now, you can see we're at 58 degrees in Raleigh, 58 in Chapel Hill. And if we go to the northeastern part of the state, you can see we're 56 in Elizabeth City and a little bit warmer as you go further south. 60 degrees in Goldsboro right now. And even in Fayetteville, it's even warming up a little bit with temperatures like 63 and 63 in Laurenburg and 62 in Lumberton. If we take a look at our surface map, I want to show a few things to you. First is that we have a big rainmaker coming in through this weekend. Low pressure system is rotating counterclockwise clockwise and it's bringing ahead a warm front and a cold front with it. The warm front is the boundary of warmer air so temperatures are going to warm up just a little bit before this weekend and as that low pressure system makes its way into our area we have a chance to see some snowfall come in especially into late Sunday and early Monday morning and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But first also I want to give you an idea of when that storm is going to come into our area when we'll start to see some showers. You can see at midnight on Sunday we have some scattered showers through Raleigh. Most of the showers are going to be in the southern and southwestern parts of the state but by Sunday at 9.30 a.m. we're going to have some showers be a little bit scattered and even some icy conditions if you're in northwestern parts of the state or even the Piedmont region. Now as we go to our next graphic we're going to show you that basically the storm, snow accumulation is going to occur over into Monday morning uh, from Sunday night. By 6 a.m on Monday there will be a scattered there's going to be a trace amount of snow in Raleigh maybe even up into two inches in some northwestern parts of the state in the triad we can see uh, snow as much as four inches or even in Boone they're going to get a, a lot more snow western parts of the state especially where they're colder that has a lot to do with what the ground temperatures are and as you can see 38 in Fayetteville is a forecast for tonight 36 in Pinehurst and 36 in Raleigh so the temperatures will still be above freezing tonight and even into tomorrow we're going to see temperatures get close to 60 degrees with most of the temperatures being in the upper 50s in most of the state. Now as we go into our seven day forecast we'll show you that basically the temperatures are going to start to cool off just a little bit into Monday. As that cold front comes in through we'll have temperatures on mo Monday at 50 degrees for the high, it's 58 for the high on Tuesday and then Wednesday 62 and 64 on Thursday as temperatures are going to warm up again just a bit with a chance of a scattered shower on Wednesday evening. For now that's your weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Tom Miners. Have a great day.